It's pretty cool, you know, being able to hold a solid gold coin from ancient times. Yes, well, souvenirs from our travels are all very well and good, but they're not going to help us decide where to go next, are they? So come on, where do you fancy? How about Everest? No, I'm thinking of somewhere more exotic, somewhere full of life and colour and beauty. I know, the Eye of Orion. I'll take you to the Eye of Orion. The Eye of Orion? What's that? Well, all I can say is that it has some of the most magical sights in the entire universe. Astral starbursts creating myriad celestial bodies against a timeless royal blue backdrop. Sound all right? Well, as long as there aren't any psycho alien races trying to kill us, I'm fine. Excellent. I'll set the coordinates. That's odd. What is? We're receiving a transmission. What, like a space-time email? Well, if you want to put it crudely, then yes. It's an audio transmission. Let's put it on loudspeaker, shall we? We are sending you the space-time transmission to invite you to a most honourable banquet at the prestigious house of Thornwood Towers. The master of the house sends his express wishes for you to join him for what promises to be a most enchanting evening. What was all that about? Well, from what I could gather, we're invited to dinner. Do you really want to go to some dull wine and cheese party? Well, it'll be a pleasant change. And besides, I don't want to appear rude. Right, how do we get there? Well, a transmission sent coordinates. I can get us there in no time. Oh, and Jess, don't mean any offence, but we are going to a dinner party, so you might want to spruce yourself up a bit. Okay, what was that about not being rude? Ah, much better. I'm glad it meets your exacting standards. Are you sure you want to do this? Of course! Besides, what could possibly go wrong? Would you believe an evening in a haunted house? Very odd. What? The architecture. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. I've seen it before in a Hammer Dracula film. Don't worry, Jess. Although this place does intrigue me, all of the stones here are from different time periods. So? Lots of houses have renovations over the years. Well, they must have paid one hell of a bill to get this built. All these stones seem somehow wrong. Well, there's something wrong about this whole thing, Doctor. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's not stand around here getting wet. We were invited, after all. Good evening. Lovely night. Good evening, sir. I trust you received our invitation. Yes, and most generous it was of you to invite us. The master of the house does love to please his guests. Come in out of the cold. I am Carstairs the butler, sir. May I take your coat? Oh no, I wouldn't worry. It'll soon dry out by a fireplace. Of course, sir. In the parlour. This way. The other guests are already inside. Wonderful. Well, thanks ever so much for inviting us again, and give my compliments to the master of the house. You can tell him yourself, sir, when the time is right. Bloody hell, Lurch has gone all high-tech. That cybernetic leg. Yes, I noticed it too. Well, it's pretty hard to miss. Very interesting. Everything about this house seems out of time. I wonder what else we shall find. By Jove! And to you, I trust you are the other guests. I would hope so, otherwise we've got quite the wrong house. <laughs> oh, do shut up, you impudent fool! You look like a wise fellow and... Oh, great Scott, a woman! Yeah, got a problem with that? She speaks as well! Yes, yeah, she's a very good friend of mine. I'd like her to become a very good friend of mine. <laughs> Shut up! If I had known there were going to be women speaking their mind tonight, I wouldn't have come. Hmm, well, 
It's nice to see the master of the house invite such charming guests. Well, we're here, aren't we? I uh, didn't get your names. Colonel Harbogast, at your service, sir. Hello, time the trickster. At your service, sir. Well, I'm sure we're in store for a very memorable evening. Do either of you two know anything about the master of the house? Never met the chap, and if he invites people like your friend along, I'm not sure I want to. Doctor, can we leave? This place gives me the creeps, and Colonel Sexist over there is really getting on my nerves now. We'll at least have a drink before we go. Well, this house is probably poisoned. Why would anyone invite us here, along with two other people who are completely different? Four different people in an old gothic house. It's a rather good story, doesn't it? Four little soldier boys. All the guests are in the house leader. Excellent. It would appear that one of them is not human. Life sign scanners indicate it has two hearts. A time look. Switch on the recorder. All I'm saying, Doctor, is I'm not sure why any of us are meant to be here. Stop. The Doctor is here. This is a most fortunate turn of events. Caster, as might I have a word? Of course, sir. Thank you. Merely to salve my curiosity, the Master of the House, who is he? Oh, you will find out, sir, soon enough. Yes, yeah, so you said before, but what else? Where does he stand in the local area? Uh, s sir? What is his social standing in the local area? Local area, sir. What local area? One more question. Is he the one that gave you that leg? You will learn soon, Doctor. The master of the house is one of many talents. Well, anything? No, the usual masking the truth. Although I'm beginning to get an idea about where we are. What, what do you mean, where we are? We're in an old house. Hmm, are we? And if we are, where's the old house? What are you two talking about? Can't be anything intelligent. You never can talk like that with a woman. They can't understand it, you see. Ah, oh, will you shut up? Get that drink down your neck, maybe you'll pass out. I will not be spoken to like that, particularly by a woman. Now, now, Colonel. No need to raise your voice, is there? We don't want to disturb the other guests, do we? <laughs> I fear that ship may have already sailed. What's a ship for sailing upon a barren sea? What's a girl for wailing to death beneath a tree? Great. He's talking in poetry and riddles at the same time. Now, yeah, I always enjoy a good riddle. Tell me, Hello Time, have you got any more? The stomping boots above our heads, they hear the master's call. The men in shining armor come to lay waste to us all. Right, I'm leaving. Jess, leaving to have a good poke around, that is. Thought so. Let me know what you find. Maybe now we can have some intelligent conversation. Well, why not? After all, the brain is there for thinking, is it not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten you were here. Anyone for charades? Who is the Doctor, Leader? The Doctor is one of the oldest enemies of the Cyber Race. He first encountered us on the planet Earth in the year 1986, when he destroyed our home planet of Mondas using radiation. Since that meeting, he has gone on to thwart our plans time and time again. When last we met, he tricked us into destroying our own fleet using the Nemesis statue. This time, we shall ensure that he does not thwart us again. When will we begin conversion, Lena? The three other guests will be converted in time. They must be converted together to avoid arousing suspicion. And the Doctor? He shall become something far greater and more valuable to us. The Doctor shall become our new Cyber Controller. It is unwise to plot against the Cybermen, madam. Who the hell are you? What are you going to do to the guests? You'll find out, madam. Soon enough. Oh, you're like a stuck record.
called Carstairs. Your friend has been gone a long time, Doctor. Hmm. Well, yes, I think she was rather upset. She may have just gone for get some fresh air. But I'm not so sure. Oh, well, it's to be expected. Silly young woman like that. Got a brain like mud. No sense of direction. She's probably got lost in the house somewhere. Yes, well, thank you for your words of encouragement, Colonel. Well, I'm just speaking the truth, old boy. Truth? Ah, but what is truth? Who can tell where truth ends and lies begin? Who can tell what secrets lurk within this old house and the lies that are used to cover it up? <laughs> well, go on. Sorry? You were talking about the house having some great secret that was being hidden by lies. Well, oh, it's all nonsense. Just what comes into my head. <laughs> Shut up! I think I'll go and look for Jess. She may have got into a spot of trouble. Ah, well, that's a good idea. A woman needs a strong man to have a firm grip on... Well, what an abrupt exit. I wasn't even finished. Oh, shut up. Jess, are you there? Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hmm. Jess, what? Oh no. What are you doing here? Surviving. Ah, oh, of course. That's your sole purpose, isn't it? But where exactly is here? Some sort of cyber control room? Reminds me of the one I was in on Telos a few years ago. You are correct, Doctor. This control center is hidden behind a secret panel in the house. A secret passage? Very Enid Blyton. I've got to admire your handiwork. But then again, it was always the genius of the Cybermen that proved to be their downfall in the end. Not this time, Doctor. We are prepared to destroy your companion if you do not cooperate with us. Jess, where is she? What have you done with her? She is perfectly safe. For now. Ah, some movement at last. Is dinner laid on the table? I regret not, sir. You regret not? Then what in blazes are you? The master of the house wishes to see you. Both of you. Ah, well, that's splendid. Where are we to meet him? In the trophy room. I will lead you there. This is where the master of the house is to meet us, is it? Can't say I think much of the company. <laughs> Shut up! I say, what's in these cabinets? You. What? So sorry to do this, gentlemen. But the Cybermen must survive. That message, I take it you sent it. Correct, Doctor. We send out our signal, complete with coordinates. In the hope that they would come to this old house and be converted. I hope Harbogast and Hallow Time are all right. Carstairs will be dealing with them. Ah, yes. Your cybernetic butler. Or should that be pet? Partially converted so as not to attract too much attention from travellers, but just enough to remove all emotion. Very clever. You forget, Doctor, that we are the most advanced race in the galaxy. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I've said it once before and I'll say it again. You're just a bunch of pathetic tin soldiers skulking about the galaxy in an ancient... Victorian house. Mm. You will honor the cyber race, Doctor, or you and your friend will die. Kill me if you want, but I'm a hair on her head. Do not attempt to bargain with us, Doctor. We will not comply. All right. All right. Bring her in. Doctor. Jess, they haven't hurt you, have they? Oh, well, apart from the occasional throttle, I'm fine. Well then, Cyber Leader, what do you want with me? Your fate will remain a secret until the right time, Doc. It seems everyone's been saying that tonight. I overheard them. They want to make you their new controller or something like that. If she speaks again, eradicate her. Jess, I think it would be wise if you let me do the talking. So, your new controller, eh? Yes, as far as I can remember, 
The last one is a bit bruised. After you shot down our controller on Telos, we attempted to make repairs but couldn't. We need to convert someone with the intelligence to lead the cyber race. A new doctor. All of time and space to explore. The Cybermen could once again hold the key to time travel. Once again? You barely managed it in the first place. The Cybermen tried to get control of time. Yes, they tried to avert the destruction of their homeworld, Mondas, but I stopped them. You see, the Cybermen have numerous weaknesses. Radiation, gravity on one occasion, and let's not forget, gold. What is this? Gold dust. Rather lethal to the Cybermen. Wouldn't you say, Cyber Leader? Destroy him! I wouldn't. You need me to become your controller, don't you? How long have you been waiting for someone like me to come along? A couple of decades? Centuries? Do you really want to wait that long again? What do you want, Doctor? First, bring Jess over to me. Good. Now I'd like a box of chocolate hobnobs, if you don't mind. Feeling a bit peckish. Um, why don't the Cybermen like gold? The chemical structure of gold clogs up their breathing apparatus and in effect suffocates them. Now, let's uh, make our exit, shall we? Wait. Carstairs will deal with them. What are those things? The Cybermen. Some of my oldest and deadliest enemies. Originating from the planet Mondas, the twin planet of Earth, the Cybermen were once humans, but that wasn't enough. Life itself wasn't enough for them, so they enhanced themselves cybernetically, converted into creatures completely devoid of emotion or remorse, a race so ruthless they'd convert the entire universe just in order to survive. And they want to make us like them. They want nothing more. So what do we do? Find the Colonel and the Clown, if it's not already too late for them. It won't do you any good to hide, sir. You are quite helpless. Well, where are you going to take us? I have a nasty idea. Mm, it's as I feared. They've already got to the others. What's happening to them? Why are they just standing in those cabinets? I wish I knew. Preservation before the conversion process. The Cybermen have really thrown me a curveball with this one. You might as well admit it, Doctor. You can't stop the Cybermen. Hmm, well, I don't see why not. I've stopped them plenty of times in the past. It was the first time for everything. I always admire your optimism, Jess. So, I am to become the new Cyber Controller. It is a great honour, sir. Is it? To have your memory, your emotions, everything you've ever held dear wiped away in the blink of an eye. What must it be like for the people that remain? To have their relatives and friends, people who they love and who once loved them trying to kill them. What kind of life is that? Think about it, Carstairs. Think about it. Nothing can stop the Cybermen now, Doctor. Oh, and just when I was beginning to get comfortable. We will begin your conversion, Doctor. Deactivate the cloaking device. A cloaked cyber ship? Very clever. Cyber technology certainly improved, worryingly. Doctor, the cabinets have changed. They've got Cybermen in them now. Yes, the cabinets were in fact cyber conversion booths. Once the cloaking device was lifted, we see them as they really are. You know, he was an idiot, but Harbogast didn't deserve that. Why do you do this? Why do you roam about the universe, ruining people's lives? To survive. But what good surviving when you cause so much destruction? You might as well just kill us. I'd rather be dead than become like you. You will be more useful to us alive. It's best not to argue, Jess. You won't win. Trust me, I've tried. Well then, what do you suggest we do? Well, I was thinking something along the lines of this. Stop him! Run! Should we pursue Nina? Of course. You take one more unit after the girl. Carstairs and I will deal with the doctor. Sorry about that. Don't worry. Your leg is just temporarily inactive. But I've got bigger things on my mind than just messing up your leg. 
that this is a retrospective reader. Time Lord technology, with a little bit of my own tinkering thrown in. It'll scan through your brain and pull out lost memories and hopefully recalibrate them into your brain. It won't make you feel any emotion, but it'll at least stop you from trying to kill me. Sun. I remember the sun. It was hot. Very hot. My wife said, It's too hot for me outside. Can you pick up the kids from school? That was the last time I saw her. All my children. That was the day the Cybermen came. They took me away. Don't know what... What they did with the others. I remember it was very hot. And then very cold. It worked. It actually worked. Carstairs, could you come with me? I have a favour to ask of you. Yes, sir. What is it? I need you to help me stop the Cybermen. Very well. I will fetch my gun. You have reprogrammed Carstairs. Yes, I thought a quick dose of memory would be good for him. Hope you don't mind. I can see we would never fully convert you, Doctor. To that end, you must be destroyed. You shall not harm the Doctor. Well, I'd rather you hadn't resorted to that level of violence, but we can't stand around here stalling. We've got to stop the Cybermen. I also need to find Jess. That's first priority. I can use my enhanced optical units to seek out her heat signature. Really? I must say, it is rather nice having a personal bodyguard. I don't suppose we could get a coffee and forget the whole thing? Oh, I've only had any gold on me. Of course! That's right. You know what this is, don't you? A gold coin. As long as I'm holding this, you can't hurt me. You want to convert me, so you obviously don't want to kill me. Could just stand here with this coin for hours. See who gives up first. I fear that might become tiresome after a while. Doctor! Doctor, look out! It's alright. He's with me. So, Cybermen. Your leader's dead, your butler reprogrammed, your orders redundant. What are you going to do now? I have stopped the Cybermen. Sort of. But our work isn't over yet. I'd like to know if this ship has a power core. Yes, on the lower levels. Let me guess, you're going to blow the ship up. What else was I going to do with a power core? I will do the deed. Sorry? I will blow up the ship myself. You would sacrifice yourself to help us. Quite so. It is a curious thing. I feel a most strange sensation. I regret helping the Cybermen. I feel... I feel... Uh... Guilt? Yes, that is it. Guilt. But guilt is an emotion. You can't feel emotion. Well, I guess it's a first time for everything, isn't there, Doctor? Yes. Yes, I suppose there is. What do you look so pleased about? He's going to kill himself. Well, don't you see? If one converted Cyberman can feel emotion, what about the rest of them? Think about the possibilities. Carstairs is going to die emotionally. Something no Cyberman has ever done before. Enough stalling now, Doctor. Take Jess back to the TARDIS. I'll handle things at this end. Thank you, Carstairs. Thank you for giving me hope in the Cyberman. Ever since my conversion, I was conditioned to believe that emotion was a weakness. But now, I don't believe those lies. The lies the Cybermen told me. Emotion is not a weakness. Emotion is the greatest strength of all.